futures. Thank you. Merci. Thank you, Mrs. Lambert. Now, Ms. Girling. Madam Girling, one minute. Thank you. My group supports the publication of this green paper. It's very timely, and it comes at a time when we're debating in all member states the issues which have already been mentioned, I won't labour, but those of changing demographics, the gender challenge, I could go on. The report recognises the importance of member states sharing best practice, exchanging information, but also emphasises that pensions remain a member state competence. It acknowledges that the EU should not legislate on adequacy of pension levels and retirement ages, but asks, and asks very clearly and very strongly, that member states regulate in accordance to their own circumstances, taking account of those issues. I do believe that further work on portability is essential to strengthen the single market. EU citizens working around Europe, and I've met many, should not be left disadvantaged by having their pension pots frozen in different member states. Demographics change, so do working practices. Our expectations change, but it's vital that we keep up with these changes in our thinking and our policy making. Thank you. Merci, Thank you. Now, Ms. Figueredo, for a minute and a half. Thank you very much, Madam President. We must remember in this debate that there is a proposal relating to the Competitiveness Pact.